So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to apply a gradient map and what it does. So I'm first going to the stock studio and then I'm going to drag this picture over to use for the example. And then I'm going to the adjustment studio and I'm scrolling down and then I'm clicking on gradient map and then I'm going to click this box at the bottom. So you can see there's three different colours, you've got red, green and blue. And the reds represent the shadows, the green is the midtones and the blue is the highlights. So I just want to get rid of the midtones for now so I'm going to click on the green circle and then click delete. And now you can see it's running from red to blue and you've got this nice blend between them. And there's a lot of blue in the picture. So if I go to the layer studio and just hide that gradient map. So you can see there's a lot of highlights in the picture and so that's what the blue represents if I turn that back on. So then if I go back to this box, you can also reverse the colours. So now the blue is going to be the shadows and the red is going to be the highlights. So say for example I want my highlights to be pink instead of red, I'm going to make sure that I've clicked on the highlight colour and then you'll see the colour red over here and if I just click on this it'll take me to the colour wheel. So then I can just click on the colour that I want, so I want it to be pink and a bit lighter as well. And then if I want to change the colour of my shadows, I'm going to click on the blue and then just change the colour. And then say if I wanted to bring the midtones back, I'll just click on this plus sign and it's going to add another point. So then if I click on the colour, and I want that to be orange. And then you can also add more points in it if you need. And you can switch them around. But I'm just going to delete them. So now I've got blue, orange and pink. And those colours have now been applied to my picture. So then I can just scroll through these different blend modes and see which one I like the best. So I'm just going to put it on colour and then you can also adjust the opacity. And then you can obviously still change the colours, so I want to make my pink a bit lighter. So now you can see what it looked like before and after. So then if I'm happy with those colours, I can add that to a preset. And I'm just going to name it blue, pink. And then press OK. And then if I just delete that gradient map. And now I want to apply the preset that I've just made. So I'm going to go to the adjustments. But you don't want to click on the gradient map over here. You want to go to adjustments at the top. And then click on it this way. So then it will show you the presets. So this is the one I've made, the blue pink. So I'll just click on this and it's going to apply it to the picture. And then I can see what that will look like applied to a different picture. So I'm going to go to the layer studio and I'm just going to delete those two. And then going back to the stock studio. And then I'm just going to drag this one in. And then again if I go to the adjustments. And then I can just click blue pink. And so then if the colours don't look right apply to this image. I can still adjust them if I need to. And then I can obviously still change the blend mode as well. So it's basically just an effective way of changing the colours in your picture.